you learn about boundaries from people closest to you just any old body can't be around you and be in your energy if you just know you're that girl you just have no choice but to be that girl and i feel like i'm that girl what if you don't wake up feeling like that girl how do you be that girl you need to go back to sleep and wake back up again so you can feel like that girl welcome back to my channel if you are new here it is i your host the you betty we do girl chats here we do fashion we do makeup we do all things lifestyle so welcome i'm glad to have you and if you are returning welcome back i'm glad to have you at another girl chat so we're gonna hop right in i just wanted to talk to y'all about standards and boundaries and things that i've been learning i learned that no matter what people will try you men romantic partners friends family people period will try you and if you don't have no standards or boundaries well this goes for boundaries if you don't have standards on how people how you want people to treat you or any boundaries on what's okay and what's not okay people are going to do what you let them do to you so say for instance um you have a friend that only calls to vent about themselves, and they called you tuesday to vent about themselves. okay then they called you thursday to vent about themselves. then they called you saturday to vent about themselves. and then they called you sunday to vent about themselves. and neither of those times did they ask about you or were they interested in you so the more that you accept that or the more that you answer the phone for them the more that they're going to keep making everything about them the more that you don't set that boundary or set that standard for how you want to be treated or set that boundary by not answering the phone or letting them know that why you don't ever ask about me the more they will feel like that it is okay for them to drain your energy take all your energy so i feel like as a young woman especially as a young black woman in my 20s i'm learning so much especially this year about boundaries because you learn about boundaries from people closest to you you learn that boundaries are necessary because of the people closest to you whether it's your friends whether it's your man whether it's your whoever whether it's family that's how you realize if you're if you're like observant that's how you realize that boundaries are boundaries are important but also boundaries are important because if you don't have no boundaries for yourself and for other people to protect you if if there's no boundaries set in place that you set in place to protect you then it's going to be like everybody around you going to be happy but you around this motherfucker sad because you letting people do whatever they want to do to you and however they want to treat you instead of teaching them how to treat you teaching them what you will and won't accept by the boundaries so teaching them how to treat you will be your standards and how you teach them through boundaries you have to stand so strong on that that you know no matter what like this is not okay like i can't this, this is not okay but I watched a few videos like I I've been doing a lot of research on TikTok um just started researching on YouTube because I really wanted the short form videos but I've been doing a lot of research on like self-improvement for black women young black women and I seen a few videos that said write your boundaries down write your standards down so you can have something something um like when you write it down it's like kind of set in stone so i haven't did that yet because i still need to think about like what are my boundaries i know like certain things i won't accept i know when i see it whenever they show me a red flag then i check it right then and there because if i don't like it if it don't make me feel good up in here and if it don't make me feel good up in here if it if it got me confused and these two at odds my heart and my head then i gotta check that because why am I feeling this way when I'm allowing this person to be in my energy? Like, I'm doing you a favor by letting you in my energy because you want to be in my life. So, yes, boundaries are very, very, very important because you without them, you'll be a pushover. But also, let's talk about standards. Um, I feel like as a young woman, when you lit, like when you a egg girl or when you popping, people are going to want to be around you. They're going to want to feed off your energy just because you pretty. So I feel like you got to have standards about who you let around you. 
just any old body can't be around you and be in your energy. You have to know what's okay and what's not okay for you. If it ain't helping you elevate, why? Why? If you having a conversation with a certain person every every day of the week and like no no elevation is happening, you're not learning nothing from this person. Y'all just talking about nothing really. Why? Like you have to have standards so let's talk about like what are some standards one of my standards are i don't want to date any men with kids because i don't have any kids and i'm in my selfish era where i want all the attention on me and you like if we gonna do our relationship thing i need us to be locked in and i will i want to start a family at the same time if that's where we going with it like another another standard is because i just said if that's where we going with it another standard is if you get in a relationship you got to know what do you want out of that relationship where is it going otherwise you just in that relationship just to be in that relationship you you're dating unintentionally and that don't ever really end up good so i feel like standards should be discussed in the beginning as well as boundaries let me look up the definition standards versus boundaries it says boundaries are what you have determined that other people or environments cannot do to you so boundaries are basically a no no you cannot be rude to me no you cannot ignore me no you cannot dump the task on me standards however are the behavior slash excellence that you naturally hold yourself to okay Standards are within you. They are about you owning yourself and not be afraid of whatever might come your way. So basically, standards are if this person doesn't meet your standard, you stand on your boundaries. I hope that makes sense to y'all. Um, I really thought boundaries was going to be more deeper than that. But boundaries is basically no. Like, that's not acceptable. Got to blast. Like, that's not acceptable. Got to blast. So, I just feel like as a, as a young black woman, it's really important to have boundaries and standards and some young women like you don't grow up knowing that so that's something that you have to learn along the way and sometimes you can be a people pleaser i used to be a people pleaser i feel like i'm working on that but that can lead you into like a lot of things by not having standards and boundaries and sometimes we just don't notice like these are the things i feel like they should be teaching in school that they don't teach standards and boundaries for young women etiquette and and things of that nature that's very important because how like you're just gonna get ate up in this world if you don't have standards and boundaries if you don't stand for nothing if you don't know how to be assertive and this is something that i'm currently learning like being assertive don't be scared to say no if you don't like it if you don't want to do it if it make you uncomfortable say no like and that's gonna give that's gonna that's going to make people respect you even more. The fact that you have a limit. The fact that you have boundaries. The fact that you have standards. Standards is like, I expect this out of myself. So, I'm not accepting anything less from nobody else. Like, let's look a little bit more into the definition. Because I feel like I need a little bit more for standards. So, it says, a list of activities, thoughts, and behaviors that you accept is helpful. Your expectations help develop the standards you have. Values and goals are, are tied to your personal standards as well. So I found a list of stand uh how it says how to maintain good boundaries. How do you set boundaries and standards? One, reflect on the reasons for your boundaries. Two, start with a few boundaries. Three, consider setting your boundaries early on. Four, try to be consistent with your boundaries. Five, carve out time for yourself. Six, don't be afraid to include extra boundaries. Seven, set healthy boundaries on social media. So that's another thing too. Since social media is my job, I love to do it. I I do try to set a boundary for myself. Like don't just be on there scrolling all day when you could be creating. Don't just be on there taking in content. Like I try to set a time limit for myself. I feel like, yeah, boundaries are just very, 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 very important. It's, Especially for young women because um, 
it's going to teach people how to treat you and as uh, the younger you start the stronger in your boundaries and your standards you will be the younger you start the easier it'll be for you to walk away from things that's not serving you the easier it'll be for you to walk away from things that are hurting you the easier it'll be for you to walk away from things that it, it, it don't need to be in your life so standards and boundaries they're top tier. They also give you a sense of confidence about yourself. They also help your self esteem when you when you stand for something. When you know that like it it do something inside that boosts your value. And I'm not lying. I'm for real. But if you guys have any questions about standards and boundaries, or if you want me to create a different type of, if you want me to film another girl chat. Or if you have any specific content that you would like to see from me or any girl chats that you would like us to have, let me know in the comments. And until next time, see y'all later.